you're, you're, you're entering your fourth year uh, doing stand-up comedy. Over that four-year period, how has your style evolved? It's definitely evolved a lot. Um, I think when I started out, I was uh, trying more to be clever. Like I would do like uh, maybe some more one-liners type thing. Uh, um, I would do more characters. Like kind of, kind of, I did this character of a, a French stand-up comedian who would just you know insult America the whole time. Uh, did another character is like a really. Uh, a white collar comedian, like uh, instead of Larry the Cable Guy, is Mortimer the Steel Baron. It's just all <laughs> jokes about how wealthy I was, and uh, and those were good. You know, it's definitely, and you know, I, I did some improv stuff at that time. I was doing improv, um, and I think all those were definitely very helpful. And then, sort of like, you know, maybe the past year or two, what I've really been focusing on is like, okay, well, what do I really care about? What do I? What's on my mind, and what do I really want to talk about? Yeah. Um, because that, to me, is the pinnacle of, like, I, you know, there, there's different kinds of laughs. Like, and uh, for me personally, like, like, when you're just being clever, just doing a one-liner, it's kind of like doing a card trick, you know. Whereas, like, if you tell something a really either personal or something, something you really care about, and it's like an extended bit, and it's like, you know, something that you talk about for minutes at a time, and there's a big payoff at the end. That's like, you know, sawing a woman in half or, or making the Statue of Liberty disappear. That to me is like, a, you, really, you really pulled off a trick, you know, talking more about things that are actually on my mind and, and extending, you know, instead of just doing, all right, here's a, here's a quick joke, moving on, here's another quick joke, moving on, you know, and say, all right, here's a topic I want to talk about. Yeah. How many different angles can I come at this from and really squeeze every last drop out of and, and really get somewhere with it and, and have the audience feel like, oh, yeah, I, you know, I, I never thought about this that way or... Or, you know, like maybe have like a group realization go on in the room. And that's the thing about audiences. They're so smart. You know, like each individual person in that room might be a moron, but you get a room full of people all together judging someone who's talking. They're, they're pretty wise. There's a wisdom to that. And, you know, wisdom of crowds, they call yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think it's a little bit different. That guy's like talking about guessing someone's weight. Or no, a, a room full of people will mm. sense when you're full of shit. You know, they'll know it. And they also sense when you're totally being authentic and respond to it you know and like when there's a a room full of people and you are succeeding and 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 making them laugh but also by being naturally who you are and being authentic and and just spontaneous or just you know in a natural way yeah. like they're going to be that's a magical thing when you can accomplish that